So I am here with the mastermind behind Haven Con, the one who's been pushing it for three solid years. I mean, the shirt says it right there. But for those who don't know how it got started, like what was the genuine inspiration behind Haven Con? It was literally, literally. Um, it's kind of a long story. It started out as, you know, wanting to bring youth. It was actually a, a, an idea that I had for youth, not a convention, but a, a thing for youth to uh, have a, a safe space for themselves to go to. And I've been a geek, but I've been a geek my entire life. and. Um, it really was just about bringing the community together. Um, I also organized a, a group in, in Austin called the Gay Austin Geeks, a little more hands-off than I used to be, but um, we would do smaller events, and I saw that this was something that really helped people and changed people in very positive ways. Um, and so I just kind of decided we need to do this on a bigger scale, but keep that community aspect to it. So. Yeah, I mean, an all-inclusive con it sounds like a great idea, but aren't all sci-fi or gaming conventions that way? I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? So the convention th themselves may claim to be, however, the people that go there may not be. So when you may have a good policy in place, but it's next to impossible to enforce that policy on, say, a, a show that's 50,000 people. So LGBT members of the geek community, um, I feel really need a place where they can go to know that it is just for them and about them and by them. Because we don't just have like, you know, regular panels like just a cosplay panel, but we might have panels that can center more on the LGBT issues that people want to discuss. Um, and not even from a geek perspective, just as a member of the LGBT, LGBT community. Um, we don't have a lot of events in general where we can, uh, <coughs> where we can go to actually engage in conversation. Um, as much as we all love pride, that's a lot of people talking to you or singing at you and it's a parade and that's fun, but there's not a lot of opportunity to sit down and talk about what's actually happening within our community. And so that's something that we provide as well that no other convention provides. Okay. And the fact you've been able to grow and blossom from just a couple of rooms at a Holiday Inn to an actual, like, a, a full-on hotel mm -hmm. is, yeah, this is in, in three years, nonetheless. Yeah. Well, that's the community. That's the power of the community. Um, it's a lot of work done here. It's a lot of work on my part, too, and I, but I'm not trying to take credit at all. Um, just that uh, the community comes together. We do fundraisers to help us get into spaces and uh, into our event space and pay for that. And, you know, pay the bills. Basically, we got to pay the bills. <laughs> but uh, uh, that's the community. That's the power of this community. And they're the ones that have, have done this. So, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. I'm going to assume you just don't regret doing this in any way. Not even that. for a moment. Well, ask me again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, with, yeah. With, with all the speed bumps that might come, this, this is, is still like worth it, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I, oh, there's tons of speed bumps, yes. But um, this is what I literally do, and it, it may have to change in a lot of ways, but um, this is literally what I do every, all, every day, all day, every day of the year. So um, just this one event drives me throughout the rest of the year to to continue and to continue doing it. The stories that I get from it. When I see Facebook posts or Twitter things, and you know, talking about the show, um, it, it it keeps me it keeps me going in because it lets me know that how much people not only want it but need it, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's the community. Yeah, it it does seem kind of therapeutic at times. Even the dance party last mm -hmm. night, the the right. energy level was mm -hmm. insane. Mm -hmm. We have some great DJs. There's oh yeah, great DJs, but. Uh, yeah, seeing everyone out there, well, I, I was out there, uh, in one form or another, I was out there. <laughs> Haven went out there. Uh, uh, every, everybody fun. loves Haven. Yeah, Haven's adorable. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a lot of fun, and uh, good, positive energy. And we all needed to just dance, dance it out. <laughs> Sometimes that's all it really takes. Yep. Yep. But, I mean, start, officially starting the convention off with a wedding that, I mean, that's, that, <laughs> that was delicious. Yeah, that was, I have to say, they, they had asked uh, if, they, if I would mind 
I said, well, of course I wouldn't mind. Are you kidding me? And then um, I decided, I'm like, this this is how we need to start this, the, the convention. And so I was happy to surrender the stage and provide some lightsabers to, uh, to the aesthetic. Yeah, that was, that was oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And, 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 and we had an engagement as well. So congratulations to Gray and his partner. Um, that happened at the closing up. ceremonies? That happened at the cosplay contest. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. It was fantastic. Yeah, I got, I got called away to take care of some other stuff, so I didn't hear yeah, about that. I but, it, but, I, I, but again, they had contacted me asking if they could do it. I was like, you better do it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It looks like we're uh, about to get flooded. So. All right, well. I should go. Yeah. Once again, Shane of Haven Con, the mastermind behind it. You are doing a wonderful service for gamers everywhere. No matter what anyone says, it should be all inclusive. So, get get some sleep. Get for God's sakes, get some sleep. Yes. Love you.